Hello friend. This is the story of the shadow boy. Ben was sent to bed without his supper. The cook made a fresh plum cake for tea, and there was strawberry jam to eat with it. Ben lost his share of both. His mother sent him to bed for teasing his sister. Her name was Anne. Anne had a doll called Arabella. Anne was in the house, and Ben found Arabella asleep on the table. He caught her by one of her arms and ran off with her. Later, Anne came back and looked for her doll. What are you looking for? For Arabella. Have you seen her? Maybe the dog took her. No. You have taken her. Last time I saw her, she was walking toward the fence. And ran down the walk. She screamed when she saw Arabella. Arabella was hanging on the picket fence by her skirt, with arms outstretched and hair over one ear. Ben disappeared around the house, laughing. <coughs> and took Arabella for a ride on her bike in the garden. Suddenly Ben sprang out from behind the apple tree. He danced around and teased Anne. And turned toward the house. Ben followed her, mimicked her walk, repeated whatever she said, and pretended to roll a doll carriage and talk to his doll, Arabella. His mother overheard him, and sent him to bed. He wondered if the cook would bring him some cake, but she did not, so he tried to go to sleep. Then, he heard a rustling noise, and opened his eyes to find his fairy godmother standing beside him. Well my dear, aren't you in bed early, tonight? Yes. I was sent to bed without my supper. And why were you sent to bed without supper? I tease my sister. You tease a good deal don't you? Once before you were sent to bed for that. Yes. I mimic the nurse then. You must like to mimic and tease. Yes, I do. It's fun. No supper. Then you are hungry. Let me see if I have something in my pocket for you. Yes, here is a pill. He did not know what it meant to be a shadow boy, but soon found out. He lived on the streets. Whenever boys or girls walked out, he followed them. If a boy rolled a hoop, or ran, or used his roller skates, he chased him. Sometimes he went ahead, and was in fear of being stepped on. He followed the girls at play too and imitated whatever they did. The children called him the shadow boy and laughed at his long legs and arms. They used to skip and turn to see him follow them around. They waved their hats and made faces, and the shadow boy did the same. He walked miles, and grew very tired. He waited outside the churches and schools for hours. When they came out they cried, Chase me! Shadow boy, chase me! And he ran after them all the way home. When he saw a child coming along the street he wanted to hide, but could not. One Saturday, he worked hard all day. Late in the afternoon he sat down by the wayside under a tree to rest. He heard footsteps behind him, but did not turn his head for fear it was a child. Are you, the shadow boy? Yes, I am the shadow boy. Do you chase boys and girls? Do you enjoy being the shadow boy? No, I hate it. I used to be a real boy. I wish I could be one again. When I see my godmother I am going to ask her to change me back. Do you think she will? I sure hope so. Very well. Perhaps I have another pill in my pocket. Ben looked up and saw a child coming down the street. Oh, godmother, do change me. He cried. I don't want to chase any more children. His godmother gave him the pill and as the child passed by him he swallowed it. He could feel himself changing into a real boy. 
When he opened his eyes he found his sister and asleep in the bed beside him, and Arabella sitting on the dresser. And he knew then that he was no longer the shadow boy.